So we got some new content today. Uh, they finally put, we've got the new spy llamas, which we're going to get into opening those. As you can tell here, we should be able to open about 38 of those. Um, we've got some new uh, new updates here for cosmetics. So as you can tell, we've got all of our back blings now are uh, transferred over from Save the World. Allegedly, these two are split up. And it seems that way the locker for Save the World is now uh, separate from Battle Royale, which means that if you make changes in one, uh, they won't affect whatever changes you have sold and saved in the other one, which is good. Glad to see that. Um, basically, you can put on any back bling you want. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the pets interact, if they're still the same thing, if other, uh, other players can walk up and pet the pets on your back, do stuff like that. But that'll be interesting to see. Um, then we've also got uh, skin-wise. So here we have, uh, we're using Rescue Trooper Ramirez. I've got her in one of her, almost her entry-level stage here. Um, she is a 130 character, but um, she's been leveled all the way up. She's max level, but as you can tell, before you could remove her hat and her back bling, but now her shirt's different. Um, she's missing a few other things. So we could change her over to uh, basically anybody that we wanted. I was curious how this was going to work. Um, how this is going to work because, and I played one or two games already, and uh, basically we're just kind of waiting for the stream to fill up here uh, for our announcement before we start opening these llamas. We'll just run through this really quick. Um, you know, now there's really no way to tell who's in a match with you what character they are, or what class they are, I should say. And that's kind of a problem, in my opinion. Um, when they redid the HUD, uh, the heads up display, they took out a lot of key information out of that, such as you know how much blue glow your teammates have, um, and also what class they are. Um, that can be that can be really important, um, you know, especially you know maybe not so much you know for regular day-to-day -day games necessarily, but especially in something like uh, you know um, uh, Frost Knight, for example, it's absolutely crucial that you know how much blue glow your teammates have in that, um, so that you can keep tabs on that. If you see everybody's running low, you've got to you know you've got to make sure you you, you may take steps to get some blue glow. Anyway, wraps are, have been in for a while. Uh, the emotes as well have been in for a while. Um, it's probably one of my favorite wraps. It's actually in the shop right now. It'll be out uh, about 6 o'clock. This is, I'm glad this one came back. This is a pretty cool one. It looks pretty pretty good on all the weapons. Um, I don't know, my opinion anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into this and start opening some llamas. Now these are all brand new um, the spy llamas, they are new to that? the, uh, bring it right back. new to the game, so at least as far as I know anyway, I think these are all new, uh, new items. There's one new hero as well, which, um, oh wow, so that's pretty interesting right here. So check this out, um, Bomb Squad Kyle. I do not have Bomb, Bomb Squad Kyle. He's got, uh, Bomb Suit, something like that, I don't remember what that is actual perk is. Anyway, um, so we get to choose a defender here. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's going to get recycled anyway. It's an epic. Um, I've got tons of them, so I don't see anything on here that would be considered from the Spy Series. Um, he's not a Spy Series guy, so I don't know why he's in there. That's kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Uh, here, I'll show you real quick. Here, let's go to the collection book. Um, event people, spy heroes. That's it. Um, that's the only one under spy heroes. Um, let's go down here and look here real quick. What What is he considered? Um, expansion people? Is he maybe... Uh, no. Uh, I don't know what he is then. Is he... Can't remember what he is because I didn't I, I didn't have him before. Um, that's really interesting. All right, we'll go through here. He's not one of those. He's definitely not a pirate, right? No, he's a stowaway. So that's crazy. There's Bomb Squad Kyle right there. Um, but somehow I got him in Epic, and he's not even in the book here. That's really wild. I wonder if there's... <laughs> I wonder if Epic screwed up on that. That's pretty crazy. Alright, anyway, let's, uh... Let's keep opening them. You even know how to use that... Let's see what we've got here. Um... 
I'm glad I saved up some of these coming into this. So now we're going to get a choice between. Alright, so she is from the event, Undercover Buzz. Bomb Squad Kyle is from the previous from a previous event, so I'm going to take a guess that she's going to come back and be in another one of these future llamas. I'm going to grab Bomb Squad Kyle right now because um, he is from a different event and I have no idea why he's in here right now. Maybe I'm missing something on the... Maybe I didn't fully look... I mean, patch notes are very basically non-existent for this game anyway, but... Wrong kind um, of maybe I didn't look... I don't know. It's weird. We shall see. So that's one of the new uh, one of the new guns. This one, the Copper Trinity. And yes, you can automatically have some of those get selected. Hey, right now, I'm manually selecting anything rare and above just Whoa, because I don't want to accidentally uh, recycle and or put something in the collection book that's new out of this series without knowing on ahead of time. All right, so um, Undercover Buzz in Epic is here. Uh, which is good, so if I needed to, I could flex, uh, flex her up. Um, if by the time we get done with all these llamas, we don't have her. Hey, watch what you uh, so that's good to see. We've at least got that taken nice. care of. Not that I'm a fan of using flux uh, like that for something like this in the middle of the event. But this is the new pistol that they have out at Copper Cyclops. Um, all these are regular people. Sound, nice to see they're still dumping sound walls into these llamas for people who didn't get them uh, before. You even know. Uh, let's go that ahead and run singing. through the next one here. All right, we got our first legendary weapon. This is the new Copper the Pepper Sprayer. This, to me, um, I looked in the collection book ahead of time. This looks like a. Uh, Take a look at this. Uh, we can't can't bring it up right here. Um, anyway, this uh, looks just like uh, maybe I don't know. Looks like one of the World War Two uh, World War Two guns. Um, hey, but watch, anyway, watch that's just kind of cool to uh, see them going with some of this old time All things. Another one of the way. weapons in here. It looks like uh, M14. One of them resembles an M14. There it is. Actually, right there. That's uh, new from this season, so that's the first one of those we've got of that. What am I? All right. Whoa, check Let's out run this next one here. this one only because I am not a shotgun fan in this game. I know they made them a little more powerful, but honestly, shotguns are kind of, I don't know, not my thing in this game. At least not in Save the World, anyway. I gotta get... All right, All my here life, we go. I wanted to be a pile of cards. And we got another bomb suit, Kyle really interesting. All right, I'm going to just has Mark for retire since you can't put him in the collection book. It's really interesting. All right, well, we're going to let him sit there. Let's go for another one here. I wonder if we're going to get anything else from that, uh, from that thing to go along with it. That would be really cool if we wound up with, uh, with some things for some other uh, llamas as well. Copper the Trinity, so pulling that one out of BR, basically. That's the first one of those we've gotten. And this, these are the, in total, the first. Um, when we go back to the screen, we'll see exactly all what all these paid out. Uh, we'll go and we'll do a summary of them. But um, these are the first of these llamas that I have opened here, and we're doing it live right now on, uh, on Twitch. don't do a whole lot of streaming here on Twitch. We do do a little bit. If you uh, enjoy the content, please go ahead and uh, hey, you gotta bring that give us a like. Um, Whoa, check check us out. Also, if you like real guns, 
check us out. We are 13C Gun Reviews on YouTube, and we do reviews of all sorts of uh, firearms, uh, including the ones you see behind us, like the uh, like PS90 up there, which is, of course, the what the game calls the Bobcat. Um, do uh, a lot of NFA guns as well, uh, like that suppressed Galil Ace behind me. Walk away, friend. So anyway, we do a little bit of correlation on those, talk a little bit sometimes about the differences between some of the things in real life versus the game, things like that. For example, that uh, PS90 back there, that is, all right, this is our first legendary schematic of the Copper Browbeater. Um, that PS90 uh, up in the cabinet back there, the standard capacity on that magazine is 50 rounds. Um, that's its normal standard factory capacity. What is that? And uh, in the, at least in the, in the oh, no, BR before they pulled it down, I think the capacity on that thing, they had knocked it down to 30 or 40 rounds, something like that, which, you know, I, I don't know. I guess there was a me there was a uh, Storm King imposed uh, some gun control and uh, limited the uh, limited the amount of rounds you could have in that thing. Fork. In any event, um, 50 rounds is, uh, oh is a standard life, capacity, I like I said, and 50 cost. is really about as big as it can hold because of the way the gun is designed. Um, try and make some kind of quad stack bags. And there's another one of those bomb suit Kyles. It's really strange um, to see uh, see that. Anyway. Do I look um, like a rock to oops. Whoa, check out this I, know, I just had a thought that um, if there were going to be other people in this, um, we should be getting them soon because um, allegedly with their RNG, if you're going to get an epic, you're going to get an epic of something you don't have until all the epics you even know how uh, to are there, that. at least weapons and heroes uh, separately. So nice. Their RMG, RNG is a little uh, bass backwards on this. What they uh, basically do is they determine, alright, so I believe that's the first of that new pistol. Uh, what they do is they basically... Uh, the llama, you know, once you click it, it determines hey, you to uh, what what Whoa, if you're going to get a weapon hole. or a hero, and then it determines the rarity, and then after it does all that, then it uh, checks to see if you have the duplicate first, and that's that's kind of a bummer, um, especially uh, you know, like last season I went something like a hundred llamas before I got uh, the last Outlander, at least. Um, you know, and that's a oh, ton of freaking llamas to go through to be able to do fish. that. Now, of course, with the length of the lunar event, um, you know, it took... I had a boatload of time uh, to get that done, but still. I always still have one of each. It's an epic. Other than going in the collection book eventually, it's not like that really matters. It's the one we don't want to get rid of because I want to keep uh, I'm keeping all these uh, so that we can look at it after we get all these open. We can go and look on the screen Wrong and see them all tallied. So I don't friend. have to remember for myself exactly uh, exactly what there was. And aha, there we go. That's the other hero. So now we have uh, one of each hero in each rarity, uh, which is good. So pick up another one of those, hopefully. You even uh, know how to use bomb suit Kyle, so we can get them into the oh collection book as I well, and be ready to go with that. Go with the second one of those, just because. So it looks like at the end of the season, any llamas that you haven't opened are going to be converted into spy llamas. Um, I do not know if they're going to give us what any more I llamas after oh, this, uh, if there's going to be another change, um, if there's going to be some kind of springtime llamas, if I should, once I get one, you know, one, theoretically two of everything, I should start, um, start saving tickets again. Uh, I guess we'll try and try and figure that out after we make sure we have one of everything for the book. Um, yeah, we can do that really quickly. What is this? Collection book rewards. I must have accidentally slotted something I already had. Ooh. 
these are those things where I wish it showed you how much you had of what. Because honestly, I have no idea what I have uh, of what saved up. I'm going to go with nature just because probably should have went with water. Anyway, collection book. We're just going to take a quick, quick second here to uh, look. All right, so the last one I need of this to have at least one anyway is of the grunt. Um, otherwise, we have at least one of everything here, and then event people, spy hero, there we go. And one of her in the collection book, we can put in there, and then at least one there. And again, uh, really interesting that we've got this thing kicking right here. Um, really interesting. Anyway, I guess we'll see. I don't know, are pirates coming up? What are they? Uh, and that spring ticket. That looks like a spring ticket. It does not look like a Back off, spy Stalin. ticket. That's actually pretty funny. Back off, Stalin. Every once in a while they have a decent one, and I'm sure... <coughs> I'm sure some of the younger... Uh, younger folks aren't going to get, but that's pretty funny. Hey, watch what you sw Alright, let's see what we get next. I'm sorry, some of these can seem so monotonous, but we're, uh, we're doing this for science, so... Let's keep on rolling here. You even know how to... All the way to the bank! Well, it'll be interesting to see if that kind of... M14 type guy here, this grunt, is going to be, uh semi-auto or full auto. Um, one of the things I th really hurts this game is uh, some of the hey, some, of the, you some of the rifles anyway is uh, the nice. you know, pistols too, you know, being semi-auto it just it's rough on the trigger finger with you know when you're shooting a lot of husks. There we go. So we finally got now one of each in legendary. Which is good news. Watch what you. The fat lady's singing. Uh, yes, she is. Survivor. Let's see what are we gonna need a duplicate of this time. We're just picking one. I don't know. Soldier, I guess. Let's see. I guess I did not have Wildcat. I have, I think, two of Wildcat in. Um, in Legendary, yeah, I definitely do. So I've got one in the collection book. Uh, but interesting there, now at least I've got a uh, uh, an epic of her to go into the collection book. Which is good, right? If you click on it, it should... You know what, I'm just going to let her sit there for now. We'll figure it out later. Can't Normally, when you have one in the collection book already, um, and you click on it, it will um, it'll give you a different thing. So we have four bomb suit Kyles. Wow, in epic. It's really interesting. We're just gonna go. We might as well just go through these. You know, we've got one of everything. Got ten more of these we can open. The RNG on these is not bad, um, considering at least only because there's so few things to get. Um, hasn't been atrocious. I should save a few of these if there's going to be better stuff coming up later. That springtime ticket makes me think it's going to be the same ticket used for the spring event, right? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop, uh, drop a comment down below there. And, uh, and we'll see. Speaking of which, give me one second. I'm going to actually check and see if we have any comments. Ah, our, our friend Kong is on, is uh, 
in the chat. Welcome, man. I know. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the locker we've got changed to any skin that you want, including uh, skins like this and Mr. Wick, which is pretty cool. Um, there we go, Llama Shop. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing for a minute. Do I look like a... Oh, another shotgun. Who knows, maybe this will be the... the greatest shotgun yet. Hey, you gotta bring that ho Oh, oh God. Right That's fine. Sometimes you forget about some of those lines, they say. does seem to be slightly more choices this time around um, for the epics, which I suppose is good. Um, so we might as well do oh, one more here. My... Nice. We'll go see how we're see how we how we did. All right, now we've got her for the collection book as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Look at the hero, the new heroes first. So this is how we've done for our heroes. Um, yeah. Here, can I... I guess she must already be in the book already. But anyway, there's that. Four bomb, bomb suit Kyles, two of the new undercover Buzz, uh, in Legendary, four of them in Epic, and then uh, one Bomb Suit Kyle right there, Bomb Squad Kyle, I guess I should say, which is good because um, I did not have, uh, I didn't have uh, this guy, so, I mean, we don't really know exactly what armor does, I mean, allegedly, it's armor, right, but, um, I don't know. That'd be interesting. That would have come in handy early on when I was running uh, Storm King as a soldier. Of course, obviously the meta's changed a little bit now. We know a lot more. We know our tactics better. Um, we know things that work better, and a lot of that original stuff, um, you know, just, just doesn't really make sense anymore to be running. You know, if you're running a ninja, you're running blasts from the past. You're really doing yourself a disservice. Um, don't get stuck into them. Uh, run soaring mantis instead, and then uh, pick. You know, the heroes that are going to best suit you uh, for that. Um, anyway, I'm already distracted again. Here we go. All right, let's get into the schematics here. So we got three of the new shotguns, in Legendary at least, uh, one of the new Cyclops, one Grunt, one Pepper Sprayer, one Trinity, one Turncoat. That should be one of each of all the new ones. Uh, and then we've got our Epics, one Epic Shotgun, two of the Pistols, three of the Grunts, four of the pepper sprayers, two of the trinities, and two of the turncoats. Um, that'll be interesting. Let's see, what does this say here? Um, will it actually say... Alright, so this one snares the target. High-powered semi-automatic rifle with a small magazine. Uh, fired in short bursts. So semi-auto should mean it's a one-shot for each click of the trigger. All right, standing in place for two seconds grants plus 17% damage versus missed monsters. Stacks up to five times. Uh, moving from that position removes the effect completely. So that's kind of interesting. You get damage up against missed monsters of, what, yeah, up extra 85%? That's crazy. Um, fast firing SMG. Interesting. So that's going to be kind of neat to uh, to mess around with. That that could be uh, that could be pretty cool. Be interesting. Interested to see what uh, what we can modify that bottom part to. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, we've got the Trinity standing in place for one second. Regenerates what? Regenerates ten percent of your max shield value. Interesting. Three round burst for SMG, alright. And then this causes affliction. 
for this one. The bear was 2 seconds grant plus 11% damage, stacks 5 times. Curious. Alright, let's go um, let's head in here and see. Curious, more curious about this pepper than anything else here. Buzz cut, man, that's semi auto letdown. Where is this thing? There it is. Alright, so that I can find it again more easily. I do want to try this one out. Just because it looks really cool. I'm probably just going to try it out before I spend a ton of stuff on it. Just get it up to 82 and, um, and take it from there. So I can unlock all the perks. As soon as I hit 25, we unlock that bottom perk. But I mean, those points, those XP points there, I've obviously got plenty. So we might as well run that all the way up. All right, cool. Then we can at least run it at 82 and see what uh, see what's up with it. Let's take a look at this uh, bottom perk here. Doesn't make much sense to have afflicted on it. Uh, so standing in place grants damage against mist monsters. So. Um, oh wow, critical hit chance isn't bad out of the gate anyway. Um, crit rating, crit rating, so we can give this thing... Give this a crit rating, this a crit damage. Leave this on a crit damage, so we can double crit damage it, and then give it... Uh, do double crit and double crit damage. Interesting. Huh. Or we can, wow. Alright, um, I don't know what to do here. Because this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have to think this through. Because um, check that out. So, if we change this one to um, a crit rating, then this one we could move to crit damage. This one we can leave on crit damage. And then this one we can put at possibly magazine size. Um, what's magazine size? Already 53 with just one one tick. Um, not interested in headshot da damage with an SMG. Weapon stability, you can control that by shooting in bursts. That's kind of a waste of a perk, in my opinion, for the most part. Um, crit rating would be the only other one. So if we change this off crit rating, um, you know, if we put this at damage instead, plus 20% damage, that may be the way to go. Damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit rating. That's what I'm. That's that's my thought right there. Anyway, we're gonna mess with these and um, just kind of play around and see uh, see what we should think we should do. But because um, I don't want to drop 600. Uh, 600 on it out of the gate here without, I mean, I know I've got a lot, but there's some new guns coming out as well, and almost all the time you have to recreate, just like here, it's, at first glance it looks good with that and that there, but if this was crit damage, then I wouldn't have to worry about it, but, dump this into crit rating, dump this into crit damage, seems to make sense, and then, well, no, if we don't do magazine size, I don't know, I'm, I'm torn, I'm gonna have to run the numbers on that. Anyway, we'll mess. You know what? Here. We'll do this. Um, eliminate and collect. Is there at least an eliminate and collect where we'll get something for it? Something that's some kind of perk? Tickets? Anything? 145 rare? You know what? Fine. We'll do this. 76. Why don't we get an actual mission that's the same level? Hero damage. Um, here, we'll do this one. It's an 82. We'll craft an 82 in that gun with the green and blue perks and see how it does. I think we're... Yeah. Uh, well. Alright, I guess we're public. I didn't realize that. 
Here, this way at least we can mess around and we won't be disturbed. It's kind of strange. Let's load in. Let's try this thing out here real quick. All right, while we're loading in, let's check our uh, comments here. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, anyway, I hope everybody uh, everybody's doing well. Um, we're up to 30 minutes on our session here. Interesting. Wow. Taking a while to load in tonight, or this afternoon-ish, something like that. Taking forever. <coughs> All right. We've got an opportunity to strike an approaching oh, horse. Get ready for a fight. We've got ten minutes to take out as many husks as possible. Two. If you bag enough husks, Somewhere we win. In here. If you don't, we there it is. don't. Don't forget to collect those husk and mist monster samples. Strike hard, strike fast, strike fear into the heart of the horde. Bad news, don't husks. forget, the storm is right, closing in, so watch the map. Here we go. Bonus objectives are in play. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm trying to think. I mean, this is almost like a cross between a grease gun. Yes. Um, I really need to get some of these uh, things up here. So that I can do a little better here. I don't have a gold gun, but... Trying to make it as fair as possible here with an 82 being an 82. Let's at, least, let's at least not die. Not that. Catch. Definitely doesn't have the distance that. Uh, definitely doesn't have the distance that we like. So let's see. Let's shoot up against this. Sounds kind of cool. Let's compare this to... Alright. Uh, a bunch of healers here. Let's see how it does against a ton of these healers. Decent reload speed. I'm kind of digging this thing. I'm running the uh, frag grenade perk, not the energy perk, so the uh, cooldown. So that's where we're at. Although with uh, her and her gadgets, given the extra cooldowns, you put her with um, the energy. I don't know. I wonder if wonder if you can really go just go infinite. Um, Infinite perks. I don't know. Do you guys want to see me play the rest of this one out, or um, or just quit out of it and go? I mean, we got seven minutes left. Grenade. Oops. Got you something. Looks pretty cool with this wrap on it too. Have to take a look at it with uh, without that wrap on it and Whoa. see. Uh, See how it does, but it came with energy right out of the gate. Kind of fun. It's nice to have different guns to change things up. I mean, I play, you know, SMG wise almost exclusively the, uh, the Silent Spectre. Um, I really like the Silent Spectre a lot, but uh, you know, the lower things. Having some different. Uh, having some different perks can be, uh, can be good. 
going commando perk on us. I have no perks on here for going commando. Where are we at here? Well, we're going to hit our nature husks for the game too, it looks like. It's our thing. Anomalies and sniper eliminations. So I really don't feel like slotting there. Uh, slotting a sniper, but... The big issue here is standing still against the mist monsters, uh, especially like blasters and stuff. Um, Standing still for long enough against them is going to be an issue, so I don't know how great that perk is going to be long term, but I guess if you're able to stand in one spot. So, every time you get upgraded by standing still, um, you can. Yep, there you go. So, there it is. Of course, you can see the problem if something knocks you and moves you, even if it's out of your control. You still, uh, you're still gonna lose it, so... Usually when, uh, when my health gets down, I wait for a second for the health to, uh... For the health to regenerate before hitting the, uh... I'm just really trying to get the, uh... There it is. There's the perk again for this monsters. Uh, I don't feel like getting the propane thrown me. getting angry. Right, so this gun definitely seems capable. Um, we're using an 82 on an 82 mission with green and blue perks. And uh, definitely seems capable. Obviously I am 131 with, and I've got all my stuff slotted. We are in uh, in lower twine and 82 eliminate and collect. So it's not like this is... Uh, you know, a tough mission or anything, but it, it's a pretty evenly slotted thing here. Uh, we really need to go and find a smasher. I would like to try this out against a smasher and see just see just what it gets. All right, so here at least we're sleeping. Let's see if we can stand here and get this perk up. So there's one, two, three, four. So it does take him down fairly quickly once you're able to stand up, but, it, but obviously you see the... Taking heavy damage. And I don't have a perk. I guess I could throw, throw down a campfire. I do have one slotted, but yeah, why not? So used to moving and standing still is definitely going to be something that's going to be a downfall of this uh, of this gun. But at the same time, the damage isn't bad. I have to try and compare it with uh, something else. It's a cool gun. It's fun. Definitely a nice change up. I'm pretty pretty pleased about that. So we get a couple planks back for. Alright, there's going to be something I picked up in here that doesn't need to be here, like that. Let me tell those campfires are perked out pretty well. They, uh, they heal pretty, uh, pretty well, even while I was in there taking damage, I was still getting some positive healing from it. I really wanted to find a smasher, though, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Our circle shrunk in. Well, we can try and get out here into the storm and see what we can come up with here. Hop on our board and go for a look. There's one right there. Perfect. Two of them, actually. Alright. Now let's see how this goes. Alright, I'm going to try and stand here and get my bonus here for uh, standing still to see how this does against our mist monster. And is that five? That should be five right there. Yeah, so we're maxed out. There we go. Alright, 
All right, so an 82 is not going to get that done. An 82, even with a max perk with greens and blues on there, um, that's not going to get it done. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it would have been nice if one of those was able to take it down, but we'll see if uh, if we can gold roll it. Um, how that helps put on some crit damage and stuff. I'll take a look, remind you guys what the perks are on this thing. It is... There it is. So we got mag size, crit damage, element, crit rating, damage inflicted targets. Which, of course, are not the best perks at all, but I'm, I'm digging it. So I think I'm going to maybe raise this up. I don't know what the... Uh, I don't know what the other stuff is going to be, but it uh, be interesting to see here. Alright, so if you're sitting in the chair, just curious. You sit in the chair. What about if I stand up? Is that going to cost... No, standing up will not. So that's good. Of course, if I don't want to lose my bonus, I don't want to move. Alright, reloading does not take it either. Um, moving obviously will, but reloading won't. It's interesting. Kind of cool. Alright, um, I'm going to figure out how to roll this uh, so that um, it goes the best way. I'm thinking that I'm going to do uh, probably the damages, the bottom perk, uh, one crit rating, two crit damages. Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll run the numbers and we'll see if that makes sense. The extra damage against Mist Monsters, I mean, honestly, I would rather have damage against everything than the slight extra bonus for Mist Monsters. That's that's just me. Um, normally, uh, I'll, I have specific guns I like to use against Mist Monsters anyway. Um, one of those being the uh, Mythic Pistol. Uh, well, once they fix it anyway. Um, to me, the Mythic Pistol does a fantastic job of melting uh, Mist Monsters. But we will go from there. Anyway, I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll, maybe we'll come back and we'll do some more of these Spy Llamas to get uh, to try and shoot for and get some other things. That's right. I wanted to look real quick if you still want to stick with us. Uh, cool. Um, I wanted to look down here with... Alright, so this is some of the RNG that we got from some of these other events here. You can see how many of each copy we got. So here's the Lunar Llamas, right? Look at all these freaking epic dragon roars, right? That's insane. Uh, here we go. So let's see, if we go to upgrade this and increase rarity... Uh, that one's going to give us Affliction. Okay, cool. So that's a possible perk for it is Affliction. I like that. Um, this one would give us uh, the standing in place. Grants plus 11% damage. Interesting. All right. That's really cool. Um, oops. This one's going to give us uh, rarity affliction. And this one is, and that's one of the reasons why I got three of them. I had a feeling I was going to like this gun, just because it looked kind of cool. Um, and I am a fan of some of the SMGs. Uh, and this one's Affliction. All right, that's pretty neat. So, cool. All right, well, thanks, everybody. Uh, give a, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Uh, we are on YouTube, uh, so 13C Gaming is on YouTube if you're interested in some more of our gaming stuff. Uh, and then uh, 13C Gun Reviews is the actual channel that has their real firearms on them. Uh, lots of cool stuff. And uh, I don't think I can actually touch them during a stream. I can point to them and I can talk about them, but I can't actually manipulate them because, you know, rules, right? <laughs> we'll talk later, everybody. Thanks.